Hello friends, this video on fractions and decimals part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us look at another example. So here in this section we will talk about fraction divided by fraction because in the previous section we talked about fraction divided by fraction. But here we will talk about fraction divided by fraction. Now let us say that you have a very very long red ribbon. Now you have, you are decorating your uh, a particular thing maybe because for a competition or there is a festival. So you are decorating with red ribbons and you have a very long red ribbon. Let's say that the length of this ribbon is 29 by 2 meters. This is the length of this big ribbon. But now for decoration purpose you do not need such a long ribbon instead you need small pieces of ribbons each of length half meters. So you need small pieces so you need small pieces of ribbon like this such that the length of each is half meters. So what do you do? You cut this long ribbon into smaller parts of half meter each. So like this you cut each ribbon the length is half meter. So that's how you cut it. Now if I ask you that total how many ribbons did you get? So total how many small pieces of ribbons did you get? So how will you be able to find this? So for that you will have to divide 29 by 2 by 1 by 2. Right? It, it is something like this. Let's say you had 10 chocolates and you have divided those 10 chocolates among 5 friends. So how many chocolates each of them get? So for that what you need to do? You have to divide 10 by 5. So only then you will get how many chocolates each got. So the same thing is true here. The long ribbon is cut into or is divided into smaller ribbons. So the length of the long ribbon is this divided by the length of the smaller ribbons. So once you divide them, the result that you get gives you the number of pieces that you actually get. Right? Now the question is, Again, how do we divide? Now, in order to divide, you remember the simple rule that we need to follow. The divisor, which is the divisor here? This is the divisor and this is the dividend. So, these are certain things which you have already learned in your junior classes. So, what you need to do is dividing 1 by 2 is same as multiplying 2 by 1. That is reciprocal of the divisor. So in order to divide two fractions, always multiply the reciprocal of divisor. So reciprocal of divisor is 2 by 2, multi 2 by 1. So multiply this to the dividend. So what do you get now? It is simple multiplication. 29 into 2 and 2 into 1. Right? So this is 58 by 2. So now when you divide 58 by 2, you get 29. So that means you will get 29 pieces of ribbons when you cut this big ribbons. So this is how you will divide fraction by fraction. Let us look at yet another example of dividing a fraction by fraction. So let's say that this is your birthday cake. So you have a big round cake and you have been asked only to cut one fourth of the cake. That means you have rights or you have full liberty to do anything that you want to with this much portion of the cake. You are not supposed to touch the remaining part. So you, you are the owner of one fourth of the cake and you are asked to cut slices out of this one fourth portion such that each slice is one eighth of the cake. So basically you have to cut slices from this one fourth part. So you have to cut the slices in this way. So you have to cut it in such a way that each slice is one fourth of the total cake. Right? Now anyways, this part of the cake is one fourth. Right? Now we want it to be cut into slices in such a way that each slice is one eighth of the total cake. So how do we get? So if I tell you that okay you have cut it in that way so how many slices will you get? So in how into how many slices should you cut this part? 
So in order to get that, it means that 1 8th such that each slice is 1 8th multiply it by the number of slices into which you need to cut. So let us assume that you cut this part of the cake into x number of slices. You do not know what is that x. So in that case 1 8th into x should be equal to 1 by 4. Let us say you have cut it into 3 slices. That means 3 multiplied by 1 by 8 because each part should be 1 8th of the cake. So 3 multiplied by 1 by 8 should be equal to 1 4th because this total part is 1 4th. So in this fashion what would be x? x would be equal to 1 by 4 divided by 1 by 8. So how do we divide 1 by 4 multiplied by 8 by 1? So this is 8 by 4 and what is 8 by 4? It is 2. That means this portion should be cut into 2 slices. So this can be visualized like this. This is your entire cake, right? You are only allowed to cut this much part. So when you cut this part into two slices, then each slice becomes one eighth of the entire cake. So each slice becomes such that it is one part of eight equal parts of the cake, right? So you, you have to cut this one fourth of the cake only into two equal slices. So you see these are certain examples where we see that we actually encounter situations where we have to divide a fraction by a fraction. So now let us have a quick recap of whatever we have learned in division of fractions. So the first scenario is so the common rule while dividing fractions is that we have to multiply the reciprocal of the divisor to the dividend. Now it might sound very complicated but you saw it for yourself that it's pretty much simple. So what are the different scenarios that we can encounter? The first scenario could be fraction divided by a whole number. For example 3 by 5 is a fraction divided by a whole number like 6. So which is the divisor here? So 6 is the divisor. So this actually means 3 by 5 multiply by the reciprocal of divisor. How do you get the reciprocal of divisor? Just interchange the numerator and denominator. So this becomes 1 by 6. Now you multiply normally. So 3 into 1 is 3. 5 into 6 is 30. So when you look at it, 3 by 30 is a fraction which can be further reduced to its simple form. And the simple form is 1 by 10. Now you just try it yourself. How do we reduce to the simple form? Because we have already learned it. The second scenario that you can encounter is whole number divided by a fraction. For example, a number like 9 divided by a fraction like 1 by 3. So in this case, which is the divisor? So the divisor in this case is this 1 by 3. So what we do, we multiply it with reciprocal of 1 by 3, which is 3. So the answer would be 27. The third situation that you can encounter is fraction divided by fraction. Something like 1 by 6 divided by 1 by 15. So here the divisor is 1 by 15. So we can write it as 1 by 6 multiplied by 15 by 1. So this is equal to 15 by 6 which can again be further reduced to its simplest form which would be 5 by 2. So this is how we perform the division operations. The only thing you need to remember is wherever you see a divisor, find its reciprocal and multiply it. So in that case, your division no more remains division and becomes multiplication. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.